Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The Black Friday hype is so real. With all the news that dropped yesterday, the loading screen about these new cards, the Thunderstruck cards coming into this game, panic is starting to set in. We've got Patco to talk about, leaks we have to talk about, cards like Trailblazers, Centurions, and Road to the Knockouts are coming back into packs today? Yeah, that's the news. There's so much to cover in today's video. We need to get right into it. If you're excited, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's just take a quick step backwards first as always and talk about yesterday and the biggest question of all. Where's our Mbappe player of the month? Nate, you said it was coming out yesterday. Where is it? EA didn't hold true to their plan of old. The way they did things with Bulka and the first League One player of the month. They changed it up, which they, of course, have the right to do. That's how content is in this game, controlled by them. We do our best to guess it, and a lot of times we get it right. Yesterday, EA had other ideas. This SBC, guys, for Mbappe is still coming. It's not a question of if it drops. It's just a question of when. Now, in my opinion, it's got to be between today or tomorrow. I don't think EA would push this off until the weekend. I think this is an SBC they would want to have out, so people would want to open packs and craft it. So I think it's between today or tomorrow. Fodder didn't really move that much. There were a couple of like 90 rated cards that maybe went down a couple thousand coins uh, because people were selling some of these cards because Mbappe didn't come yesterday. I would not be worried. I've still got all my cards. We've still got all our fodder. We are chilling. But that SBC, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I think that's the highest percentage chance of a drop time for that. But of course, that not coming yesterday kind of killed the hype for some of the content for sure. Now, we did have a couple of player SBCs. Well, one player SBC, it is our Swedish center back, Hein. It is cheap. If you want to get it done, you can go for it. It's very interesting links, honestly. He's not very good in the passing and dribbling department, but decent pace, physical, and defending. So if that interests you, I would go for it. Also, the 84 plus RTTK slash Trailblazers pack is back, and we could do it every single day and it's going to be out for a couple more days so it's going to be available during black friday as well and guess what's going up on the market because of this sbc it's forty-five thousand coins to do this sbc now that's more expensive than it was because 83s are over 2,000 coins 82s are even a thousand coins 1.1k is what people are buying 83s for a couple of weeks ago and now 82s are there 84s continue to go up as well it's the low tier part of the market that is rising because of this sbc informs uh rose yesterday as well today's going to be a really interesting kind of we're going to have to watch the informs on the market today because informs went up yesterday with this sbc a lot of people are probably going to be looking at informs again today they're right now just under thirty thousand coins but today the team of the week player pick is going away and if ea is putting more team of the week cards in packs today a new team of the week in total and maybe another team of the week upgrade is that going to make these cards drop We'll talk about that a little bit at the end of the video as well. So maybe be careful with those, but they did go up nicely yesterday. Now, a couple things we have to talk about related to objectives. We had the MS Dasari SBC, which is the last of what we needed for the FC Pro Live Puzzle Completionist. Now, the problem is if you've done all these SBCs, you go up here to finish off the, um, not this one, where's it at? The Objective Completionist, where you do the Pro Play and the Pro Daily Puzzle, this is glitched for a lot of people. It's not letting them claim the XP and the final pack. Guys, I don't know. I, I hope that it gets fixed. It sounds like it was an issue if you tried to claim it first on the web app, but then it doesn't let you. I hope EA fixed this because some people need that XP to finish off the season. And who doesn't want a 100,000 coin pack right now in this game? So that's an issue that's happening right now. I don't understand why, but it is. Now, also yesterday we had... Uh, a ridiculous objective we have to spend a second talking about this so remember those red items we were talking about the hype for you know maybe being able to to make a player the red car design these car designs right here red shell like foot champs car designs well ea dropped the objectives that you have to do to claim the evolution which gets you seemingly only a cosmetic upgrade nobody knows right now how or what you have to do to actually complete the evolution because right now you can't even get the objective done to claim the evolution consumable, if you will. But guys, it, it is daunting. This is an evolution that so few people are going to be able to fully complete. 27 days to do this. You have to win 56 matches of Weekend League and it's finals only. If this included champs qualifiers, it would be so much easier because you could play qualifiers and get your champs finals wins. Guys, this is going to be so tough to do. I'm just going to shoot for the 16 win 
threshold for this and try to get one of those red um red card you know evolutions to do because at least i'll have one but this is this is crazy it's almost on the level not quite maybe as the whole like tifo and the vip arena for the elite division rivals that was an objective in the last season but this is just like out of touch like what's the point of this how are you going to advertise this on the website uh as a part of the fc pro live promo and then make it so that literally less than 1% of the entire community can do that. By the way, that means if you're going to get this whole thing completed, you have to play every single weekend league from now until this objective goes away, which I think is, I think it's only three, maybe it is four weekend leagues. It's tough to do the math on the fly, but that's like 14 wins per weekend league. If that's, that's very difficult, like very difficult for a lot of people to do, especially in the gameplay, the way that it is right now, at least EA gave out free champs points to everybody yesterday, but that is honestly just ridiculous. If you can get to the 16 win reward, that's cool, but we don't even know what the evolution like is going to allow us to turn into the red cards, right? So that's a whole mess, but uh, we're going to talk about that more in a video on the second channel later today. So watch out for that, but let's get to the information at hand black friday and we have to talk about the loading screen first of all because ea put these cards on the loading screen with an interesting timer if you saw it dropped yesterday right away usually it says two days 23 hours right because promos almost always start at 6 p.m uk but like we talked about in our first black friday video the black friday promo starts early it starts four hours before content and that is what's going to be happening this friday as well it's going to start early that's because the countdown is to four hours before content. So watch out for these cards actually coming into packs. Uh, again, whatever your time zone is, four hours before content time normally on Friday. And these are the two card designs once again. But what we were not expecting yesterday is that these cards are live. Back-to-back -back live promos. The players and icons in the Thunderstruck promo are upgradable based on team performances we have a couple of leaks i'm going to show you some examples but this right away in your mind if you want to think of a promo that is similar to this you think of the foot fantasy promo from the last couple of years in this game where we actually have already seen stuff leaked in the game ea leaked this on thierry Henry's icon card how these upgrades are going to work it's all based around wins and the upgrades might be different for the actual promo cards but for the icons this is how it works for Thierry Henry as a Thunderstruck icon he'll be eligible for upgrades from November 24th onwards for league matches domestic league matches only and Thierry Henry obviously representing Arsenal if they win one game Thierry Henry's Thunderstruck icon card not his base right not his base it's when he gets the Thunderstruck card one win in Arsenal's next four games will give him a regular play style, I guess, up to EA's choosing. If they win three out of the next four games, which will be a tough feat, but possible. If they win three of the next four league matches, he will get a plus one in-form upgrade. So if you think about it, for all of these icons that are leaked, yes, you would think they would go above, right? If this is a promo that EA is trying to sell packs, you think they're going to release like an 88 rated Thierry Henry? I feel like that's less likely. I feel like they're going to give all the icons upgrades. I mean, they've talked about doing little bro icons, but I think they're going to go above, guys. So think about a 92 Thierry Henry, and then he would have the potential to go to a 93 if Arsenal were to win three games in their next four. That's kind of crazy. Like live icons... That's wild. And the icons that are going to be in packs are also wild. So we've got Thierry Henry. We've got Ronaldinho, who is going to be based on the Barcelona performance. Guys, this might be the sickest dynamic image possible for Ronaldinho. EA, take notes of this design right here by Lean Design Foot. Use this picture, okay? With the ball, with the bars, this, this picture is just cold, man. Anyways, Dino, 94 rated Dino, also would have the potential to get a plus one to a 95. Of course, it would take a couple of weeks for those games to pan out and to play out, but that's the hype here with a boost plus one probably off of their base icon card. You get an upgrade and you have the potential to more for more. That's a super duper dope part about upgrading icons. I think these are the first ever icons that have had the potential to upgrade. That's sick, right? Also, we have Cantona. He's one of the newest leaked cards. He's coming as an icon player. He'll be based on Man United's performances. So <laughs> we'll see if he gets any upgrades. But Cantona, of course, getting probably a plus one. I hope they shake up some playstyle pluses. And I'm saying this. I say that jokingly, by the way. Uh, but... I used Cantona, and I've talked about it on stream. His playstyle plus being Flare 
no good, man. Like, I, I don't think that playstyle plus is really worth it. I think they should give him a different playstyle. Like, if they gave him finesse or something like that, that would be sick. I hope they change a little bit of that stuff around in this promo as well. And then the last icon that is leaked at this time is Cruyff. Performance based on Ajax. They haven't been performing very well, but they did just get a new manager. So... There's a chance, right? A new manager turnaround. They're motivated again. Who knows? Cruyff is going to be getting a card as well that will be live based off of Ajax's performances. Now, again, we read this. Players and the icons in this promo are all upgradable and based on their team performances. So, you know, guys, like that just puts a whole new spin on things for this promo and it makes it even more hype. And if you weren't saving packs before... It's probably worth saving packs now. I was just thinking about, you know, they got to get Messi in this promo somehow, right? We've had a Ronaldo promo card this year. It's about time that Messi gets one. But how are they going to tie Messi to a live upgrade? That might mean that maybe SBCs, like uh, Messi maybe is going to get some other sort of SBC during this promo because the MLS season is over. I'm really interested to see how that goes because it's all by league games, right? So we'll see. I thought Messi was going to get in this promo, but maybe Neymar will. Maybe Neymar gets a card for this promo. A lot of people have been thinking about him. He needs a promo card. Hasn't got one yet this year. And again, you see the type of icons they're put in here. Dino, Cantona, Thierry Henry, Cruyff. Those are big boy icons. They're going for the pack sales. They want to make everything that's going to be in packs absolutely in Saying. So watch out for leaks today of Thunderstruck regular players and more icons as well. I think we're going to get some more news on that starting today on this game. So be very active on X, Twitter for those. Now, moving on, because we have more information about Black Friday, we have some of the packs that have been added to the code. Now, a lot of these are store packs, so don't be too worried um, because some of these packs are like kind of ridiculous. They're going to be expensive, but this honestly, like this is not super surprising to me, but it's also surprising because they are doing some stuff here in these packs that we have not ever seen before. I wish I could zoom in on this a little bit, but there's a dynamic duo heroes pack, which gives you gold players and two hero items in the pack, 20 rare golds and two hero player items rated 86 or above all items untradeable. The dynamic duo icon pack is two base icon players rated up to 88. So you could pack Ribery, you could pack Vieira. There's some good ones in there. Also 10 rare gold players, all items untradeable. And then you've got a massive pack here called the Thunderstruck Elite Pack with 50 rare golds, 81 and above. And you've got a base hero player item in that with a couple of loans. And then you've got a season opener encore player pick. This is one I think, guys, that might be released as an SBC during the promo. Um, maybe not. I'm not sure. But it's a player pick that's also released in the code. So it's remember last year we had those player picks that were actually savable as packs. So it shows up in your store as a pack, and you don't have to be in the unassigned if you want to stack these. Uh, this just to me sounds like. Yes, it could be in a store uh, for coins and for FC points, but it also could be an SBC. That's one that I'm pretty interested in because similar to like the RTTK 84 plus and Trailblazers pack that we have, um, this is kind of like that, but it's it's a player pick one of two. So that would be kind of cool if they dropped that as an SBC as well. That would be another reason to make some of our fodder go up. But guys, most of these packs for sure are store packs. I think there's probably going to be even more added to the code here pretty soon. Um because every single year for Black Friday, there are some crazy, crazy packs. There's some also some packs in the code like these Energizer packs. Um, Energizer pack, Premium Energizer pack, Deluxe 86 Plus. I believe most of these are going to be in the store, guys. Uh, the Energizer pack to me, that seems like a 10 coin pack. If you remember last year on Black Friday, we had a 10 coin pack that, yes, all it costed was 10 coins. It was insane. We loved it. Um, I think that is a very, very, very high likelihood of that being a pretty cheap pack. But I mean, packs like this as well, the Elite Season 1 opener pack, you know, there could be stuff like this that's maybe renamed to Season 2 that could be re-released back into packs as well. The Season Opener Ultimate Players Pack Plus. Actually, a lot of the code that was added yesterday as well, if we would look at other code from Foot Scoreboard, a lot of it was, yeah, right here, the Replay Jumbo Rare Players Pack. Guys, this is like two for one packs. This is two for one. This is exactly what it is because you get a special version of a Jumbo Rare Players Pack that has a Jumbo Rare Players Pack inside of it. It's two for one packs for Black Friday, kind of playing off like what Black Friday is in real life, all the deals and it's supposed to be, you know, worth it to open packs, worth it to buy stuff. So EA is trying to put all these crazy packs out to get people to open 
packs. So that's kind of all the news about Black Friday and what's coming Friday. Now, it's not even looking at today. That's just kind of the stuff that's coming on Friday. And because of that, you're starting to see prices really, really drop. And this is where the panic is starting to set in. People see all the insane packs that are in the code. They're selling their cards that they expect are going to drop in value. Look at Hansen, 400,000 coins. I mean, 400K flat. She is dropping a ton. You look across the entire market right now, and you just have prices that are, are dropping like crazy. In packs cards, out of packs cards, icons, road to the knockouts, right? Of course, we worry about some of those being in packs today. That's part of the panic selling that's happening there. But some of these cards that haven't dropped in a while, Valverde's 160,000 coins. Wow, man. Like these prices are dropping like crazy. It's panic. It is pure panic right now. People aren't opening packs right now. This is not like people opening packs in the store and selling the cards. This is panic selling because we see the crazy content that's upcoming for Black Friday. And guys, it's all going lower today, in my opinion, with what is coming today, even. I think it's going to make prices drop lower. I would not be holding on to cards. This is why we talked about selling some of this stuff, whether it was in packs, whether it was out of packs. Now, we weren't really prepared for what's happening with like Road to the Knockouts. We weren't expecting that. But what we were expecting was to see a lot of the gold cards drop. And this is why we told, you know, the best time to sell was like weeks ago, weeks ago. But we're not buying yet. If you guys are looking to buy cards for your team, whether it's Hansen, whether it's Puteas, whether it's Vinny, some of these really high rated um, gold cards, Puteas, 410,000 coins as well. Like Vinny Jr.'s uh, 500K, 585,000 coins. He's probably going to go even lower than this, right? Vinny might be 500K flat by the time we get to tomorrow in this weekend. Yes, he was 700K, but like he is still going to drop down even more because of all the pack supply that is incoming and all the content that is incoming as well. So it's not the buy time yet on maybe some of the out of pack special cards that are not gonna come back into packs. You wanna really watch out for some huge price drop offs. Like I'm talking 20, 30, 40% if they're not in packs because that's the sort of market correction that we need to see on some of these out of packs cards. If you see stuff like that in the day today into tomorrow, that's when you might start to think about buying a card for your team, especially for an out of packs player that you think could rise later on. There's potential for an investment there, but I think we're still waiting until we see a lot more market panic before we would want to buy. And again, speaking of market panic, I think there's more that is coming today, guys, because we have even bigger news about what's happening today. The loading screen yesterday said that there was a best of team of the week, right? We talked about the Hyunmin Sun. We talked about the Virgil van Dijk inform and the Fede Valverde that were on the loading screen, right? Well, brand new news from Foot Sheriff is that it's not just the best of team of the week that's going to be in packs today. It is going to be a combination of more than 70 special cards included in packs containing Road to the Knockouts, Trailblazers, the new promo, and team of the weeks, and maybe Centurions as well. Um, it's going to be kind of like, you know how we had the, the batches of cards that were released from previous promos during like footies and all that stuff back at the end of FIFA 23? It's going to be that sort of thing again, and it's just another reason, another way that EA can sell packs. Why not? put uh, Caroline Graham Hansen, like her gold card, maybe her gold card's out of packs because this card is in packs, right? That sort of thing could happen today. That would be just another reason for EA to try to sell packs and another reason for us to try to save packs right now. You see, I've started saving the 85 pluses. I'm starting to save probably on Rivals Rewards, all the packs that I can save up. I know that fodder is going up and we need that fodder, but like it's just kind of impossible to not save at least a couple of packs for this promo because of how many cards are just going to be in packs. You've got old Team of the Weeks, old promo cards that are coming in. You've got cards. Those cards are coming in packs today, by the way. This stuff, the best of Team of the Week, that's happening today. It's happening early. It's coming today. Like It's big. Like This is massive for the market and for the game today. And then you got the other big cards, the Thunderstruck cards coming on Friday. This weekend is going to be just pack frenzy. And that's how Black Friday always is, but it's even crazier this year for sure as always if anything that is re-released in packs is it something that you own even if it's a possibility like if you own maybe a road to the knockouts card or if you own a centurions um i don't think they're going to be re-releasing centurions icons can't not for sure on that can't really quote me on that one but it seems like they're keeping the icons separate to the new promo but like look at musiala 440k de bruyne is dropping bon Mati is dropping she's getting a team of the week today as well but i would be careful especially with rttks 
and with the Trailblazers. Not 100% on the Centurions if they're going to be in as a part of the re-release yet. And I'm not saying that all of these cards are going to be in the mini-release either. There's going to be some of these cards that don't get in, but they're still going to drop in price. If I had any of these tradable in my team, I would probably sell and at least wait to see what is coming into packs. Regardless, I think 95% of these cards still drop further, but especially if they get re-released in packs, they're going to drop a lot between today, tomorrow, and into Friday. So be very, very careful with that. EA needs to give us a list, okay? EA, if you're listening to this, we need a list, okay? We need a spreadsheet. We need a clear-cut, very easy-to-read list of who is in packs, and how long they're in packs because there have been times before where EA has re-released cards into packs. I'm thinking back to last year at Christmas. They did this random re-release. They put all these guys back in packs and then they did not tell us who was in packs besides like a couple players on the loading screen, okay? We need some communication on that and I hope we get that today because that'll be very helpful for us to know who's in packs at least to give us an idea of who we could potentially pack as well. Now, along with the best of re-release that's happening today, We've even got a new team of the week that's coming today, and it's from International Games this past week, and EA's chosen some big names for this as well. Salah, Kingsley Coman, Luis Diaz, Lauren James, Bonmati, Araujo, Barella, and I think even Soboslai is included in this as well. Three Liverpool players are in this team of the week because, again, it's from International Games. Like, this is all a juice team of the week to sell packs, guys. That is what it is for, and that's what this weekend is is about 100%. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be absolutely crazy today on this game with that happening as well. Now let's talk a little bit about today specifically. Apart from all the cards that are coming back into packs, like what else is going to go on today? Like is there is there hype with a new team of the week and with the best of? Guys, there's probably going to be some, whether they call it pre-Black Friday or whether they just say that Black Friday, like the celebration and the promo is already starting. There's probably going to be some SBCs today that are Black Friday related, right? They last year on Thursday dropped the first kind of like flash SBCs during pre-Black Friday on the, the day that they released the best of. So I think that could be happening today as well. Watch out for packs SBCs, flash SBCs that maybe aren't super common, but maybe like a flash SBC that lasts for two hours and you have a couple hours to get it done. Like there's going to be a lot today. I think there's going to be a decent day of content dropped in this game today. Uh, the Team of the League upgrade SBC, as I mentioned, is going away. A lot of other SBCs, as you can tell, are going to be expiring here very soon. Like player SBCs like Aspas, Negredo is going away. I think Tiago Silva is going away. Ledley King, of course, the Bulka, Dynamic Duos. This is all getting cleared out to make the way for all the new SBCs that are going to be incoming this weekend, starting today. They could even drop some random player SBCs today that are a part of Black Friday. Um, I don't know. Like The, the possibilities are, are kind of endless for what they could do today, but it's going to be all about the packs, especially they're going to try to get you to open packs today, okay? And what I would tell you is wait till everything's in packs. Uh, with the best of coming today, don't get sucked into it because that's what they're going to want to make you feel like. I would keep saving my packs and waiting until Friday or at least the weekend at some point when everything is in packs. That's when you would want to open to get the best chance of getting at least something. Now, other content we could see today. I mentioned the Team League upgrade. They could come up with something just completely different. Last year, we had an 86 plus Team League SBC. That's not in the code, but they could do any sort of Team League player pick and it wouldn't have to be in the code. They could make it tradable as well. I'm a little bit worried about tradable Team of the Week supply. Don't know if they're going to do it. I just think EA know there's a lot of SBCs. They're probably going to require informs because there's a lot of informs in packs. So they're going to give us other ways to put our fodder into an SBC for a team of the week. And they know that we're going to need them. So they would probably like to keep the prices down at least a little bit. So we'll see. But informs are going to be an interesting spot to watch in the market throughout this entire promo. And then other than that today as well, we got to keep an eye on the end of the season, guys, because tomorrow on Thursday is a start of a brand new season. So if you're qualifying for a weekend league today, what I would tell you is try to get all your games in. Don't leave your champs qualifiers halfway done, because if you do, they will get reset and you'll have to start all over after the rivals rewards time frame tomorrow. So it's a good time to get those games in as fast as you can. Guys, it's going crazy, man. But this is the hype and the buildup to Black Friday 100%. The menus are about to get crazy. So it's it feels good to be liquid and it feels good to be invested in fodder. Seeing all of these packs and knowing how much hype that is going to bring to SBCs in this game. Especially, I mean, think about it, man. They drop one of these Thunderstruck players as an SBC or as uh, especially as an SBC for an icon or a player. 
the fact that they are live brings so much more hype to those cards, so much more hype to upgrade packs for those cards. It just means that fodder is probably going to do even better during this weekend period. It's going to be wild. It's going to be good. I'm sitting on all of my coins right now that are not in fodder. I've got two mil. I've got a couple maybe cards. I'm still invested in Malin. I haven't sold him yet. Uh, check your club for Saudi Arabian players. They were up yesterday because of the MSSR SBC as well. I've still got a lot of fodder in the club. I'm sitting on probably a million coins worth of other stuff. So we're about 3 million coins. I'm going to spend some coins on packs. I did spend like 60k yesterday building these 85 pluses because I mean, apart from the tradable fodder in my club, untradable fodder is pretty slim. So I'm saving a few packs because we got to at least try it, at least give ourselves a chance at packing something. But it's going to be fun starting today over these next couple of days, how crazy it's going to be on this game. Content is not going to be lacking, that is for sure. But if you enjoyed this video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys for a stream today, the beginning of Black Friday. That Twitch link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there. It has been Nate's Twitter account, and I'll see you guys there. Peace. Out.